Hello and welcome everyone. I hope you had a great start to the new year. Whatever you did, if you celebrated with friends, if you were at home, I just hope you had a great start and I want to wish you only the best for the new year and that all of your wishes will come true. So if you're a regular viewer on my channel, you might realize that there are some changes in the background today and that is because I'm redoing part of my apartment. I'm actually thinking about putting this into a video, so if you're interested, leave a comment down below telling me that. But I got a couch. Yeah, if you saw my old apartment tour, you might know that I never had a couch and I didn't really mind it, but lately I just really wanted a space where I can just kind of relax and listen to my records and everything. My record setup is now on this side of the wall, but as I said, I think I might just make a little video about all of that. However, today I'm back with a very classic video. It's one of you guys' favorites. It's one of my favorite videos to film. It's a classic vintage thrift haul. So all of the pieces that I'm showing with you today, I thrifted over the past few weeks and actually months, I just checked. And it's actually been over a month since I did my last thrift haul. So yeah, it's definitely been a while. There are also some things that I got for Christmas and without further ado, let's just start with showing you everything that I got. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you today are shoes and these are so, so special and near and dear to my heart. I've been looking for a pair of embroidered boots for such a long time. Like, I kid you not, I think they are such a cool 60s and 70s staple. They really remind me of Patty Boyd. They kind of bring that fun sort of Penny Lane look. And when I saw these in a thrift store, I couldn't believe how lucky I got. I'm talking about these boots. These are so incredible. They kind of have that cowboy boot sort of shape. They have the coolest sort of shimmery turquoise embroidery. I love these so, so much. They're honestly just so incredibly beautiful. They are in great condition and I need to show you the inside. If I have like very valuable shoes, I try to put some of these in them just to make sure that they stay in the good condition they're in right now. So as you can see, they have a zipper in the back and then they're lined with leather. It's the nicest and softest leather. And honestly, these are just such beautiful boots and I'm so, so thankful and grateful that I found these. The next piece that I found is this really cool turtleneck pullover from the 60s. So at first it really looks super simple, but then it kind of has this really cool stripe going down the front. I really hope you can see. But I'll also have me try it on right here in a shot for you. Basically the detailing on this is so beautiful. I really love kind of staple pieces with a bit of an extra twist, something that just makes them a little more interesting. And this top is just perfect for that. So next up is this incredible jacket. And when I saw it in the thrift store, I was kind of hesitant about it because it was a little more on the expensive side. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I usually don't spend that much money on my clothes. Just because I honestly don't make that much money. Like, I, I have enough money to get by, don't worry about that. But I just don't have the money to go shopping and spend like hundreds of euros every time that I go. But I have a little tradition and that is to gift myself something for Christmas. If you've never done that, I would recommend you to try it. I really like the idea of choosing something for myself that I probably normally wouldn't buy and then just give it to myself for Christmas. And that is what I did with this coat. So it is this dreamy late 60s green leather coat. It is really long. I honestly think it has the most beautiful collar. The shape of the collar is so late 60s. This reminds me of Patty Boyd's airport chic. I just think it is such an incredible piece. The buttons are so beautiful. They're sort of this green marble color and then also has a matching belt in the same green marble. The detailing on the pockets is so unique and beautiful. I could see Anita Pellenberg wear this. I could see so many 60s and 70s muses and models wear this. And I'm honestly so happy that I got myself this because it's just such a unique and wonderful find and it just fits me like a glove. I also showed this coat on my Instagram a while back when I wore it for a photo and you guys really, really loved it. So if you wanna see more of my style and what I do on a day to day, follow my Instagram, I'm gonna have it right here and I'd love to see you over there. The next piece I got is this really cute little corduroy mini skirt, it's just black corduroy and then it has this really cool sort of leather detailing up here. This is not real leather and it's actually already coming apart a little because the skirt is probably so old but it's so beautiful it fits me really really well. So the way that it is sewn in the front right here just makes it look so so cute. It kind of is also like a schoolgirl look and I just really really love this skirt. 
I honestly feel like you can never go wrong with a black mini skirt if you're going for a 60s and 70s look. And what I really love about this one is that it is really classic and unique, but then it also kind of has that interesting different touch to it with the leather detailing. So it's kind of something you don't see every day. Moving on with another pair of boots. I am always freezing. It is currently snowing outside. It is so, so cold where I live. And I'm also usually a little extra cold because of my eating disorder. I struggle with anorexia and bulimia. So basically my blood sugar levels and everything is pretty low and my body doesn't really heat up that easy. So I like to be very, very warm. And I've been looking for really warm and thick boots. You will definitely see a pattern in this haul that I got a lot of like warm jackets, pullovers and warm boots just because it's been really really cold lately. I got these shoes and I couldn't believe that they were only like six or seven euros. These are such beautiful brown leather boots. They're like a classic piece from the 60s. They have the most amazing warm fur lining. I love them so so much. They kind of have the perfect height on my legs and the color is so beautiful. They're in such an incredible condition, like as you can see, someone definitely repaired them at some point and they're just so comfortable, they go with so so many looks and I'm really glad that I got these. They actually say made in Italy on the bottom, so I suppose these are definitely some high quality shoes. I talk about this whenever I show something leather or something that has any sort of fur on it. I live vegan, I'm an animal rights activist, and I would never buy a new fur coat, a new pair of leather shoes, but I think thrifting them is totally fine. Leather and fur are just materials that'll keep you really, really warm, and I feel like if you use what has already been made, it's just the most sustainable thing you can do. Speaking of fur and leather, I found this jacket. It's kind of a little big, it fills the whole frame, but as said, I'm gonna have me try it on right here for you. I found this really recently, like just last week, and it's so cool. What I really love about this coat is that it is super short on me and like the really light color it has. It works so well for a factory girl look, it reminds me so much of Edie Sedway. And then I had a look inside, I always do that, I always check for the tags. So these are the tags and they're just so beautiful. This is definitely a real vintage coat from the 60s. And then in here there's actually another little tag and it says 50% mod acrylic, 50% acrylic backing, 100% polyester lining and 100% acetate. So basically this is a fake fur jacket. So if you know a little bit about vintage fashion, you might know that in the 60s faux fur coats were actually really rare. So I'm really glad that I found this one. I love how puffy and fluffy it is and I already know I'm gonna wear this so so much. I remember looking at the tag and it was like 15 bucks and as said I don't like to spend a lot of money on clothes and so I was kind of hesitant about it because I wanted a coat like this for such a long time but then I was sort of like going back and forth because I really want to make purchases that are sustainable to me so like purchases of things that I really want to get but this one was actually in their sales section so I only paid seven euros for it which is great and when I came home I checked the pockets and I found something in the pockets that I really need to show you. I found this package of gum. So this is Ringley's Orbit chewing gum and I am not gonna eat this. Like, don't worry about it. I don't think it is safe to eat it. I know the brand, they're still around, but they don't make chewing gum that looks like this anymore. So this is obviously really old. Someone must have left it in the coat when they wore it the last time. And I tried to do some Googling, but I couldn't figure out when this was from. So if you know a little bit about it, I would estimate it's probably from like the late 70s or something. But if you happen to know a little bit more about bubblegum history than I do, I would love you to leave a comment because I'm just really interested in finding out the age of this gum. So one of my favorite clothing items are coats. I just love to wear coats. I think they're so cool. I think they look really good. But at some point it's gonna stop snowing. It is going to be a lot warmer. And then you can't really wear coats. Like if it is super hot outside, you don't want to wear a coat. You might want to bring a light jacket, but not a full coat. So when I saw this, I got so, so excited. Not only because it is the perfect summer coat, but also because it reminded me of Miss Patty Boyd immediately. So it's actually this really, really beautiful black coat with the most beautiful fabric covered buttons. It fits me like a dream. 
the fabric actually has this sort of floral pattern on it and this is just such a beautiful coat so right now it actually has shoulder padding which i am not really about it i kind of feel like it makes me look a little weird don't get me wrong i think shoulder pads are really cool but i'm only 5'3 so most shoulder pads are way too broad on me and it just kind of looks a little bit off so i am thinking about taking these out but I'd love to hear your opinion about it. So leave a comment telling me what you would do. I could totally see myself wearing this coat over like a black mini dress, also with like a blouse underneath or something, or during the summertime, just with like a really nice little short dress. I think it is so, so beautiful. And it also really reminded me of Biba, which is definitely one of my favorite brands from the 70s. So the next thing that I'm gonna show you is this purse that I got. It is this gorgeous purse with like the coolest little detailing i'm pretty sure this is the front with, like a little extra pouch in the front but i honestly kind of like to wear it like this because i love this pattern so much i kind of don't want it to be interrupted by this leather strip it also has really cool little golden detailing at the bottom and it's honestly a very spacious bag when I saw this in a thrift store, I immediately knew I wanted to get it. It was only like four bucks or something, but it was hanging high up on the ceiling. So I had to go up to an employee and ask her to bring it down for me. And I know it's a little weird because I post videos on the internet, but I'm really, really shy in person. I don't like to talk to people. I don't like to go up to people and ask them for a favor. So it really took all of me to do that, but I did. And I'm really glad that I built up that courage because this bag is such a dream. And I I've been using it almost every day since I got it. The next thing I got are these really cool boots. As said, I'm all about patterned boots and embroidered boots lately. And these just have the most amazing floral design on them. They're by a brand called Saha and I looked it up and they're from the early 70s. I think these are so beautiful and interesting and gorgeous. And when I saw them, I found them on Vintage, which basically is like Poshmark, but it's more common in Europe and they were only like five bucks or something so i honestly got so so lucky with these i'm so incredibly happy that i picked them up because they fit me like a dream they're really comfortable and i just love to wear them not only peeking out under like a long skirt but also just with mini skirts and short dresses i got this black vintage turtleneck which doesn't really look like a lot but the sleeves on this are really really interesting and cool it's kind of tighter around here and then the sleeve flares out at the top right here it sort of reminded me of that sandra Rhodes silhouette she created a lot of like interesting sleeves as you can see with the blouse i'm wearing today i am just really into big sleeves that are kind of tighter around the wrists and this is basically what this pullover does so it is very wide up here and then around the elbow it kind of comes in tighter what I really love about this is that it is a very classic piece. You can style it with so many different things, but then it also has this really interesting element about it. Next up, I got this really cool brown corduroy jacket. The fabric it is lined with is also so, so cool, but it's just a very classic fitted blazer style corduroy jacket. The color is really nice. I think this color looks really, really good with my hair color. I just really like how the dark brown looks with my ginger hair. And I feel like there's not a lot to say about it other than it's just a great basic piece that just works well with a ton of different looks and what i also like about these is that they're sort of androgynous whenever i wear a corduroy jacket i feel like george harrison i think he was a great fashion icon a lot of people back then wore corduroy it was a very unisex material and i'm honestly so excited to wear this so I actually got two more jackets and I think a part of it is because I live in a very old building. The house that I live in was built in 1908, so it's over 100 years old and it's just always a little cold in here. Like no matter how much I turn up the heating, it's always a little cold in my apartment. And that is why I was really looking for some jackets that I can wear around the house, but then also when I go out. And I was especially looking for a black jacket because I don't have any black jackets. I have a lot of brown tones, a lot of like beige colors, but for some reason, Reason I didn't have any black jackets so when I found this one I got so excited it's so cute it's kind of like this very warm and comfy fake fur sort of look it has cute little buttons in the front it's just a very classic small little jacket with two little pockets in the front i don't think there's a lot to say about it i think i paid like two or three bucks for it since it has a lot number it's definitely older than the 70s so it's probably from sometime in the 60s and it's just really nice and warm and also super cozy this next blazer jacket has the most interesting fabric it's sort of like a felt fleece material so a little thing about me is that i don't really like jackets or anything that has a zipper 
I can't really tell you what it is like on dresses and stuff I don't really mind it but as soon as you can really see the zipper I'm just honestly not the biggest fan especially when it comes to jackets I like them to have buttons and so I was really excited to find a fleece jacket with a button I also love that it has this cute mossy green color on the outside and then this vibrant orange color on the inside it also has a lot number meaning that it is definitely older than the 1970s it's such a cool jacket and it's honestly just really nice and warm I think it goes great for like a bit more of a toned down 70s on the day look it's also great for some 60s looks and I've been wearing this jacket so much since I got it the 60s and 70s were all about stretchy boots if you've never heard of stretchy boots before basically they're sort of like a sock boot so you have like the boot shoe part at the bottom but then like the part that goes on your leg is just really tight and usually made from fabric rather than leather or faux leather for me these boots are just perfect for the groupie look because I think they're a lot of fun they're great for dancing and so when I saw these shoes I got so excited they are two numbers too big on my feet but I don't think you can tell I like to put these little stuffing pieces in the front so I'm totally fine with it and they actually fit my legs really really well. They are from the 70s with the coolest block heel and they're just a, a snake skin stretchy boot. So they're called stretchy because they can do this so basically as you can see it's just fabric up here. They are so so cool. I think they're perfect for a night out look, for a groupy look. They also remind me so much of Bianca Jagger and I'm honestly so so excited about these. I've been looking for stretchy boots for such a long time and these are just so perfect. So now I'm gonna share some of the accessories that I got and then I'm gonna move on to a very, very special Christmas gift that I got. The first accessory item I wanna show you are these incredible square glasses. I've been looking for square glasses for such a long time, ever since I saw George Harrison and Patty Boyd wearing them. I think these are so, so cool and unique. I actually found them in a local thrift store and I really love the shape. I've been looking for a pair like these for such a long time, so when I found them, I got so excited. They're in a really good condition. I've worn them with so many looks since I got them, and I just think they're so unique and beautiful. And to me, they just really embodied that fun 60s sunglass trend. Next up, I got this really cool necklace with beautiful lilac purple stones. It is a very heavy necklace. It is made from real silver. I got it in one of like the more antique thrift stores and it's just so beautiful. I actually wore it in my recent video and I kind of like wore it across like this. I attached it to the dress that I was wearing, which I really like the look of, but it also just looks so, so nice around my neck. And I actually love crystals. I'm that sort of person, I have crystals in my water, I have them all over the place. I love the energy that they radiate and this is just such a beautiful and unique piece. So some of you might remember that I used to pretty much always wear a little necklace with a star on it. And what happened is that the necklace broke and I actually had to give it away to get it fixed. I hope I'll have it back soon. It's just a very dainty, like small little necklace. So it took the jeweler a while to figure out how to fix it. Because while I was traveling, I had it in my suitcase and it actually ripped. And so I've been feeling a little naked. I don't know if you kind of get that, but if you have a piece of jewelry that you usually always wear, it's a little weird when you lose it. So I came across this beautiful necklace and I think this one is even more special than the star one that I used to wear. It has a real pearl here and I actually have some pearl necklaces but none of them are real so this is really special to me. It's also made from silver and it's just like a little choker sort of necklace. I think it is so beautiful, so dainty and unique and I've been wearing this one pretty much every single day since I got it. I actually got two pairs of earrings for Christmas, one from my mom and one from my godmother. My godmother gave me these really cool earrings. I have no idea where she got them. She said some sort of vintage store. They're really cool, kind of like dangling in circles and I think they're so unique and cool. So because the brassy gold is sort of a little close to my hair color, I feel like when I wear them from further away, you can't really tell. And then the closer you get, the more you can see how beautiful and interesting these actually are. And my mom also went and got me some vintage earrings. She got me these, which are so cool. They're so, so big. They're perfect for a biba look. So they're made from gold metal. And then they kind of have a string through it. And they're just so unique and beautiful. The shape also reminds me a lot of a peacock feather, which I think is so unique and beautiful. Beautiful. And these just honestly remind me so much of the movie performance. 
I am really grateful for all the Christmas gifts that I got and I know Christmas is not about the gifts but I really wanted to share these pieces with you. I hope you all had a beautiful Christmas, beautiful holidays. Whether you were celebrating or not, I just hope you had some beautiful days with your loved ones. So the final piece of accessory I got is actually not a real piece of accessory. It is this gorgeous little headpiece that I wore in my recent video. It is so beautiful, it sits so nice on the head, but in reality it's not even a headpiece. So as you can see, it's kind of makeshift by me right here. This is actually one of these things that you usually use around your curtains. So I don't know if you've ever seen them, like a lot of old houses have them, where you have really long and heavy curtains, and then they're kind of held together by a little tie like this. And that is what this is actually used for. But when I went to the thrift store, the lady told me that there was only one, so they weren't really selling it because most people want two of them for matching so that they would match. So I was so, so happy about this one. I think it is such a cool and unique piece. I can also wear it as a belt, which I think is really cool, but I just love the look of this as a hat piece. There is one more pair of shoes that I got before I'm gonna move on to show you the really special gift that I got for Christmas. So basically these are just really classic little silver ankle boots. I got them off Vinted. The girl who owned them prior lived in Paris so she shipped them over to me. Shipping in Europe is really fast. It only took like three or four days to ship them over to my house. I wore them a lot around Christmas and New Year's Eve and I just really love them. I love the space age look. I think you can create a lot of really cool looks around these. And I really think they add something extra and special to every outfit. Okay, so I honestly don't really know where I'm gonna start explaining this gift that I got because it is so close and near and dear to my heart. But basically, my stepmom's mother, so my step-grandma, if that's a thing, went through some of her old things and gifted me some of her purses and a hat from the 60s. So these are all things that she either wore in the 60s or the early 70s. She's in her 80s now, so she doesn't really go out a lot anymore, so she gave me all of these pieces so I can wear them outside and I can bring some new life into them. And it honestly, truly means the world. I did not expect this at all, which is why I was so excited. I just love wearing pieces of people that I know. It makes me feel like I can and take them with me every day that I wear the piece. So the first thing that she gifted me is this really cool fur hat. I actually already have a white one in my old setup. It used to be right next to this next to the chair I was sitting on and I really love that one. So this one is just incredible and perfect because I feel like sometimes white doesn't really match the outfit. So now I have this one which is so soft and nice and actually keeps my head so warm. So she gifted me four of her going out purses. The first one is this cute little one, which is so beautiful. It actually has a really nice little pearl. And then it's made from black velvet and has these really cute little silver stripes in the front. You can also just put the handle in here and wear it as a clutch. I love the detailing around here. I think it is a really unique and beautiful piece. And I honestly cannot wait to go out with this bag. Next up is this really cool little leather bag. It's just made from black leather and then it has some golden brass and metal work around the rim. I love how you can kind of close it with like a little clasp so it just keeps your things really safe. I love the sort of scrunched leather look and I think this is just such a cool bag. Like I could totally see myself wear this not only out to dinner but also just going to concerts and just being out with friends. So apparently this was the bag she used to take to the opera. It is so beautiful. It's just this little like sling black bag and then it has this sort of detailing right here and you actually hold it like this so you can kind of like play with the detailing on here. It doesn't really fit a lot of things but when you go to the opera you don't need a lot of things. Um, I'm gonna be honest I don't really go to the opera that often but I will take this wherever I go because it's just so beautiful. Even though I truly love the three bags I already showed you, this purse has to be my favorite. It is so unique. So as you can see it has a little charm here in the front and then when you open it you kind of like open it like this, put the charm over here, then open this side. She put some little fabric pieces in here to make sure the bag would keep its shape and it's honestly such a unique bag. It is from the 60s. I've never seen anything like this before and I'm so so eternally grateful for this incredible purse and all of the wonderful pieces she gifted me. 
And last but not least, my stepmom actually came through with an incredible final piece. She gave me a sports bag she got. She got this at a flea market. It is from the 70s and she was like, I don't really wear it anymore, but I know that you love things from the 60s and 70s. So you might as well just take this. It is this really cool red bag. It's like a sporting bag with white detailing on this side. It actually also says sport with like a little soccer ball as the O. I think it is such a cool bag. I honestly really like it. It kind of flattened over the years, but you know, I'll get it back in shape. And because I really wasn't expecting any of these gifts, I was actually speechless when I received this. I was actually not feeling well on Christmas. I had tonsillitis. They almost had to take out my tonsils. I almost had to get surgery. So it was not the most beautiful Christmas I ever had. However, being with my family really cheered me up as far as I could, but that is actually why there wasn't a video last week because I was just so sick I could barely talk I couldn't really eat or drink anything let's just say I just wasn't feeling well but I am a lot better now and I'm so grateful that you tuned into today's video I hope you all had a wonderful start to the new year and I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did I'd love you to give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it with a friend it supports the channel it supports me and would truly mean the world if you're interested in all things 60s and 70s like the makeup the pop culture the people subscribe to my channel because I upload videos every single week all about that and I'd love to have you around. I hope you have a wonderful day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine or the snow or whatever the weather is like where you live and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone!